Welcome to my channel. This is Sam. I'm playing Starfield. So we got the permission from UC House of Varun, Varun and uh, Free Star Collective. So we got the access. Now we'll go for the data, the Terramorph data. We also have to go to key. Let's do this. No funny business. Understand? We brought a tight ship down here. be willing to transfer the documents to the Major, she and I have been discussing what comes next. Time for us to start getting some real answers, and figure out if we've been asking the right questions. So whenever you're ready. I... Yes. It will be. Percival and I have done our damage. This 
This is us starting to put some things right. So with the data out of the way, we've been discussing where exactly this work's getting done. The Red Devil's headquarters on Mars, back where you found Percival, seemed the natural spot. Already has the equipment, the safety measures. Though it sounded like the deputy had a few more things she needed to discuss with you first. Indeed. The most important of which is getting you your citizenship. Then I guess we'll see you on Mars. Captain, if you'll follow me. Okay. So we are getting our citizenship. Then we are going for Mars. <coughs> Captain, are you ready to become a citizen of the United Colonies? It doesn't. We don't really care where else you might have been or might become a citizen. Once you earn your place in the United Colonies, it's yours. Good. This isn't the only item we need to discuss, so I'll give you the short version. Please raise your hand. Captain. Through your actions today and in days past, you have earned your place among the United Colonies. Through service, bravery, strength, and upholding of the mutual good. Will you carry and cultivate these values for as long as you remain a citizen? Then, Captain, I'm pleased to welcome you into the United Colonies as a full citizen. Here, your official ID and your citizenship dispensation. We've also let the Ophelian Realty Office out in the plaza know you're approved to purchase property. Now, the other item we needed to discuss. There's a member of the UC who's asked to speak to you, but this person is in a sensitive position. Normally, we wouldn't even consider something like this, but we think this person has information that could prove useful in dealing with the Terramorphs, and they've stated they'll only share it with you. They asked for you by name. So I need your agreement that everything you're about to see is kept in the strictest confidence. You can tell no one. Can you agree to these terms? I'm sorry. I can't share any more without your word. Do I have it? Let's hope it never comes to that. Head to the elevator. You're going to subsection seven. I'll make sure you're cleared for access by the time you get there.
Holy shit, I mean it's... It's a big jump. It's a huge jump. See hides all the scary shit they're doing. What I'd give to have all the rangers with me right now. If I get caught.
rejection that was anything but. The cabinet at the time, long gone now, wished to keep me on as an advisor. And considering the other option, I was in no place to refuse. So I elected to trade my freedom for my continued existence. But such is the life of a soldier.
should you require to sleep at night. So be it. According to my information, he's been hiding around the world of Etheria. Wolf system. There's a star station in the vicinity. The den. The head of the local vanguard, one Captain Marquez, should be able to help you find our man. two things, those valuable things I just stole from there. I cannot take those things. Let me show you. This black market antiquity and this xenomorphic tech. Captain, did your uh, meeting go well? I hope it's clear now why we needed you to agree to all the secrecy. Captain, please, keep your voice down. The situation with the prisoner is a complex one. A holdover from a different era. But it's a situation we've been managing as discreetly and humanely as we can for some time now. And the most critical part of that management is making sure no one else learns of it. Do I make myself clear? Good. Because bringing this up to the outside world would create the unfair appearance, Captain, that you're unhinged. And that's not a good look for any of us. Now, was there something in particular you needed to discuss about what we were just discussing. Dr. Reginald Orlais? He's finally found him. Of course, killing Orlais is completely out of the question. But bringing him to justice... He's been on the lam for years. That'd be a huge win for the UC. Well, what's being offered in return? Really? He found the members of the research team. We'd already initiated a search for them, but it'd save a lot of time and manpower if he just gave us that information. Captain, if that's the deal, you have my endorsement. Just so long as you make every effort to bring the man in alive. Now, was there anything else you wanted to discuss regarding your meeting? The Den? It's a star station. Orbiting Wolf. The second star station, actually, to bear that title. The first one was blown to smithereens by House Varun during the Serpent's Crusade. The place has always acted as a remote strategic hub, primarily for repairing and refueling UC military vessels. But, because of its distance from the rest of the UC, things there have always been... 
a little more lax. Patrols included. I can think of worse places in the galaxy for a criminal to hide out. Trusting the man downstairs would be a mistake. But I don't think you need to be too concerned. This is far from the first name he's handed over, and all previous missions went off largely without a hitch. So while I'd certainly warrant caution, I think you can proceed. Bossing around foreign pilots instead. A vanguard's been a quality assignment. Meet new people, judge them on a series of diverse criteria, get them out there helping people who need it. The military used to have a pretty narrow view of where the best pilots came from. In their eyes, it was UC or bust. The creation of the vanguard was an acknowledgement by the brass that maybe not all the galaxy's greatest pilots went through a UC flight school. So it's the Vanguard's job to find them, and get them to fly for us. So, I cannot...
चाहिए कि उसी का ही अलग अलग ब्लॉक करना पड़ेगा जाके is one error one only one shell module is allowed is allowed
Weapons from here. Let's see. I think I can deflect an SG-20 I can
Oh, what the fuck, my land here? still have to learn how to attach your pants because still I will to attach your pants. Looks to me like you're already in pretty good shape. Yeah, looks like this place has seen better days. Marquez is all right. I guess. She's gonna be lucky to have me as a boss. What does it matter? I'm gonna be out of here before you can blink and this will all be behind me. That reporter didn't put you up to this, did he? I already told him. It was a misunderstanding. Uh, an accident. My flight was spotless otherwise. Well, yeah. Why wouldn't I be? Oh, right. You haven't seen me fly. If you had, you'd know how good I am.
damn right I am. I'd offer to let you fly along on my next mission, but, uh... Oh, and, and, you know, I forgot. Listen, I'm your favorite. I've got an application for a promotion in the Vanguard, but I haven't heard anything back. It's been a while. Their reply must have gotten lost along the way. It happens. We're really far from New Atlantis. Anyway, would you mind going there and all up for me? Yeah, I mean, probably, but you know how it goes. I leave here and then something terrible happens and I have all this guilt because I wasn't here to save everyone. Just like that? Wow, that's great! I'm not gonna forget that you're doing this for me. This is just the start of my climb up the ranks. You'll see. Okay, you're gonna wanna talk to Commander Tuala. I'm sure he's aware of me because I've sent him a few messages now. Just bring back whatever message from me so I can get out of here, okay? Really appreciate it. Okay then. Looking to lodge a complaint? Then you want UC security, not the Vanguard. And try, I guess. Why? What do you need? I think you got some bad information. If there was a wanted man in our skies, he wouldn't still be out there. Unless... Are you talking about the Warlock? There's been rumor of a ship out there for years now. Doesn't respond to hails, never docks. More than a few amateur investigators have tried to find it. And at least two never came back. Ethereus debris fields are plenty dangerous if you're not used to flying in them. But if you're suggesting it might not have been the fields that found them, well, I can give you the coordinates of the Warlock's last sighting. Sure thing. Here. This should get you pointed in the right direction. Good hunting. And stay safe. Ah! Our warlock hunter. What's up? Things you should know? The den's not really that kind of place. This is a quiet assignment. Keep an eye out for pirates. Make sure smuggling's kept to a minimum. Occasional rescue job out in the debris fields. Otherwise, it's mostly long haulers and staying ready for the day the Collective wants another round. Or House Varun comes back in force. Understood. I just walk back in. Just doesn't add up. Nice to be back. Hey. I'm not gonna, going to be easy around boy. I will go do his work afterward. For now, look like that company that was a mine something like that
जेल में जाके बात करना
पे नहीं नहीं होगा भाई Finish the pre-flight checklist. Let's go, girl. Hey, what can I do for you? Got anything you need to offload? Trade authorities. Oh, okay, no problem. She's a lot better than I thought. We start warning you about what we're doing tomorrow. Use control of the delay gun. I'm not going to be part of this. What the fuck? We must defeat them. You know, fire can not be stuck or give it. So, my gun is done. I'm going to end the video. I'm going to end the video. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back with more exciting videos. And we'll start from here dealing with this situation in the next one. So, bye guys, have a good day.